Hello nerds, today we are going to study about what is transgenic animals. Transgenic animals are actually animals that have a foreign gene deliberately inserted into their genome. It means the foreign gene is not accidentally added or not naturally added but you have by yourself added into the genome of that particular animal because you wanted to add that gene or wanted to study that gene in that animal and as a result that animal becomes transgenic animal. There are different methods by which you can create transgenic animals. The first one is DNA microinjection. The DNA microinjections as the name indicate that they are going to be micro or means small injections of DNA. It means that you are going to directly micro inject your chosen gene construct. Now gene construct mean that you may add single gene or you may add combination of genes that you wanted to study. You may gain these genes from another member of the same species. For example, if I am studying goat, I can take gene from another goat and then enter it into the goat or I may take gene from another species or from different species for example I am studying goat but I take gene from the cow and insert it into the goat and now I am going to add this gene construct into the pronucleus of a fertilized ovum by the help of micro injections the micro injections they are very small injections like this here you can see and then they are going to inject your dna or your desired dna into the nucleus here and after that this ovum or this egg is transferred to the female body and in the female body this ovum or this egg is going to convert into embryo and then into the baby and then in the next generation what you are going to get the animals having this gene inserted in them and then it means you are having transgenic animals the second method to prepare or to create transgenic animals is embryonic stem cell mediated gene transfer the stem cells they are actually undifferentiated cells that have the potential to differentiate into any type of cells they may transform into tr somatic cells or they may transform into germ cells the somatic cells are the normal body cells while the germ cells are the sperm or egg cells so it means that the stem cells they have the ability to give rise to a complete organism so what we are going to do that we are going to get somatic cells from a donor and this will be a in vitro culture or it means that outside the body and after that i'm going to introduce my desired dna into that stem cells after that i am going to transfer this stem cell into the nucleus of another donor why because this is an egg and egg is required for the development of the baby so we are going to transfer this uh, stem cell into the nucleus and then we are going to allow this ovum to develop into embryo culture and after that we are going to place this embryo into the female body and then female is going to give birth to the transgenic kids so this is how you can use the stem cells to make the transgenic animals why we are giving so much attention to the creation of transgenic animals because the transgenic animals they are very important in the study of different fields of biology they can be used to identify the function of specific factors in complex homeostatic system through over or under expression of a modified gene it means that you can study whether a gene expression is increased or decreased as responsive test animals for the detection of toxicants for example there is a toxin and you don't know how the body is going to respond to that toxin by producing the transgenic animals you can use that particular animal as a test subject for that particular toxin that how the body is going to respond towards that 
in mammalian developmental genetics you can study how different genes they are helping in the development of a mammal body which gene is performing what function in the mammals moreover to analyze the regulation of gene expression how gene is regulated what are the factors that are responsible for the expression of a particular gene why some genes they are not expressing so by producing transgenic animals you can study that along with this targeted production of pharmaceutical proteins and drug production you can also produce the pharmaceutical proteins moreover drugs in the transgenic animals for example you inserted a gene in the cow and you produce a transgenic cow the milk you are going to obtain will contain the pharmaceutical protein or the drug of your desire similarly you produced a transgenic chicken and then you obtain the egg and in the egg you can find your desired pharmaceutical proteins or drugs the transgenic animals they can be used as producers of the specific proteins for example human growth hormone which is required for the growth of the human it can be produced in bulk by the help of transgenic animals genetically engineered hormones to increase milk yield as well as meat production so you can also produce hormones through transgenic animals so this is why the focus is on transgenic animals so that was our lesson on what is transgenic animals if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section i will see you in the next video